everybody. I'm going to do a lighthearted video now from my last one. <laughs> but I'm doing this um, because I've had some people contact me on how to help, you know, save money, what have you. And I wanted to show you one of the things I started doing, which I got from Pinterest. And I'm thinking to myself how crazy I've been not to do this long before now. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great idea. Um, all your plastic bottles and your glass jars and bottles and containers can be reused forever for a lot of things and I'm going to give you a quick example this is to help you save money on buying you know containers and things and uh, also I just wanted to talk briefly about how what it is with this country that we're so obsessed about you know where we buy things how much it costs whose name is on it who really gives a damn I could care less I buy clothes from the thrift store, from Goodwill. I bought so many things for my home, for uh, just, you know, things I need in the kitchen, what have you. And I bought great quality items for nothing, for dollars. So for you people out there who are trying to save money, who are trying to, uh, you know, make life a little easier for you or save money for the future, for a trip, whatever, just... In general, you should be saving your money, period, for yourself, for a rainy day, for an emergency. I mean, who cares where you buy your stuff? I mean, if you have people in your life that care that if you said, oh, I got this really beautiful shirt at the thrift store for $2.50, and they're like, oh, my gosh, get rid of them. They're not your friends. You don't need them anymore. So, um, and remember, all you're doing is making corporate. When you go someplace and you buy something and pay a lot of money just because it has somebody's name or some company's name, you're making the corporate people Oh, let's see, maybe $5 million bonus, dollar bonus isn't enough this year. Maybe next year they need an $8 million bonus. Well, guess where that's coming from? You guys, not me anymore. I, I've, I've been buying from the thrift store since uh, the late 80s. Uh, my sister introduced it to me, and at first I was like, oh, my God. Well, then once I started, my kids were dressed to the nines. And I'll tell you what, I paid $0.50, cents, $1, $2, $3 dollars for their clothes, and they always looked like a million bucks. People always used to question this. How can you afford to dress your kids this way? And we had five. So I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing it since then. I have gotten some of the most beautiful things for my home, for, you know, in my life, everyday use, to put around, what have you, from thrift stores. So you guys, if you want to save money, get rid of that mental attitude and you young teenagers and whatever if you're worried about what somebody thinks of you because you're not wearing a certain type of jeans well then you need new people in your life I mean seriously where you what you buy how much you spend for it where you buy it does not define you not at all not one bit so anyway forget about making the corporate people richer and richer and richer by buying these and those designers out there, I mean, come on, how many mansions do they need on how many islands? And how many cars do they need? And how many $15,000 dresses do they need? Okay, seriously. And that's why I get really disgusted when I see stars and wealthy people talking about how, oh, this dress cost me $10,000. It's a whoever, whatever. Who really gives a damn? I mean, those people stick in me. If you want the truth, the more I look at wealthy people and the more I look at stars that brag about it, and I'm not talking about all wealthy people, not everybody's like that, but when I see those up there, you know, oh, this is a such and such gown, and, and I bought this, and and uh, uh, so and so has an island over here, or, or, or a mansion or two, or six houses, those people disgust me. I'll be honest with you, they disgust me when the rest of the world is just trying to survive and put food on the table. So I'm going to give you some hints on how to save on certain things just to help you in little ways. So. Um, I'm a single person, you know, living alone, so I, I, I don't stock up on a lot of food because I, I wouldn't eat it all. But um, for what I do have, I want to show you. For instance, and if you have large families, it's a great idea. Like, for instance, your Coke bottles, regular soda bottles, okay? They're nice. You see, these are kidney beans. I have these filled with, this one filled with kidney beans. They seal tight. No bugs, no nothing is getting in there. There's no soft plastic bags to break or tear, or paper bags to tear. Um, these are sturdy, as you know. So um, you put your beans in here. Like These are kidney beans, okay? There's an example right there. These are pinto beans. Here's another Coke bottle, soda bottle. And you just put your food in there. Keeps it tight, you know, kind of airtight there. 
Nothing's going to be crawling in and getting in there. The air is not going to be getting to it like it can through uh, any paper container or just a container that has a lid on it or whatever. These still nice and tight, people. And if you have a big family and you store lots of these, you put these all together in your cabinets or your pantry or your shelf or your, even your garage, wherever, because they are sealed so tight, nothing's going to get into these. And I don't like to put liquids in plastic. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I just, I don't want to store anything that might be acidic or anything in plastic because it can leach, stuff from the plastic can leach in there. So I've actually, <laughs> this might sound terrible. But I've actually gone out and bought some dollar sodas, dumped the soda out, just so I have the containers. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. So anyway, there's one example. So you see, just another, I haven't used this one, I just emptied it out. Um, another bottle, I'm, a, I'm even asking people to save them for me. This will be used to, con to store something as well. So I'll give you another example here. This used to be a, you know, a pump dispenser for hand soap. My sister had given it to me. Well, the pump part broke, so instead, I thought, well, it's a cool Eiffel Tower. So instead, I have some fall-colored uh, M&Ms in there, which is a treat to me. I don't eat, you know, sweets and stuff a lot. So here is a really nice glass bottle, really cool shape, and I just put a little um, uh, foil on the top, like a kind of like a champagne. You know how they have the foil on top? So there's my cool little bottle with the M&Ms. So another reuse, recycle. Same goes for, this is a water bottle, plain old water bottle. These are little pastas that I make for my grandsons. They love them. They're teeny little star-shaped pastas, really bitty things. You can see, I don't know, I'll let you, <laughs> but they're in there. But um, I put them in here, okay? So when I make their little pastas for them, because they're real little, I just pour in the amount I need and there we go. They're nice and sealed tight so they don't get all soggy and icky. You know how they can get. They can get kind of stale. These keep them nice and tight, okay? So that's another good little thing. So here's another one. We all know this one. It's a creamer, a coffee creamer. And um, it seals nice and tight as well. And they also have the bigger ones with the you know plastic lid that snaps on real tight. Uh, but any, you know, creamer, coffee creamer container. I actually, in here, I had some of those little vegetable, they're like puffed vegetable strips that my grandkids like. I stored them in here until they were finished off. They stayed as fresh as the day they were bought. And you know, like if you live in a humid place, or say you have several rainy days, whatever, something like chips and crackers, what have you, and you have them in their containers, you go to get them and they're like, ooh, kind of stale and soft. I had those things in here from the dad bought them. My daughter brought them actually, and they stayed as crisp as the day we opened that bag because they seal so tight. And you get the containers, you know. Um, I'm going to start uh, saving several of these. I just started with these, but um, you can store so much in these as well. And then they also have the little, you know, the pour uh, spout right there. So if it's something real small, you can pour it out. So there's another idea. Here's another idea a candle. Plain old-fashioned candle with the <laughs> snap lids. Well, when this is done, it's going to be cleaned out. It's glass, and it can be used for anything. On top of that, it seals so tight that whatever I put in there is going to stay fresh, whether it be a food or maybe something, I don't know, uh, you know, something from the bathroom. Who knows? Whatever I want to store in it, it's going to stay nice and sealed. So there's another use for a glass jar. And a lot of these glass jars look really cool. So it's not like you have this really, like these, I put away under the cabinets. I don't, you know, I don't want, I'm not one of those people who like all my pastas and things all over the counters being shown. I, to me, that's just too cluttery. So all these neat, neat little containers will go under, are under my cabinets. So there's another one. Okay, here's another example. I bought this, um, this is going back quite three years, I think. I bought an olive oil, you know, a designer type olive oil, gourmet, all kinds of seasonings, what have you. It cost $8 for this little bottle of olive oil. I thought, ooh, that's a lot. Well, then after I finished it, I thought, well, why not make my own? So I bought, you know, you buy a big thing of olive oil and you fill up little jars. Okay, I reused this one that already had olive oil and I put in my garlic. 
I use one that's just garlic. I put one that has that. I pour basil in there, uh, basil flakes. Um, uh, whatever seasonings you like, you pour them into the olive oil, and then when it comes time to use them, you know, you shake them up, you know, and that whole time the herbs are in there infusing that olive oil, so I make my own. I don't go buy any more um, gourmet olive oil. And to give you an example, these used to be, one was a soy sauce, one was a teriyaki sauce bottle. Well, now these are going to be my some more olive oil bottles. This one's going to be uh, garlic because this one is basil. This one's going to be garlic. This one is going to be Tuscan I'm because uh, I looked up the ingredients for <laughs> the Tuscan uh, herbs. And I'm going to put them in the olive oil. And there you go. Start stored nice and tight again. Not having to buy expensive gourmet olive oils, I make my own, and they are delicious. I've been doing it for three years, they come out great. Here's another example I got this bottle at a thrift store for a dollar fifty. Nice glass bottle. This is what I put water in to put next to my bed. So I've had this for three years. Pretty little bottle, reuse it, reuse it, reuse it. Got it from a thrift store, dollar fifty. You can't can't beat it, you know, to have a nice little container of water next to my bed. And here's another one, okay? I can't even remember what was in here, but anyway. <laughs> um, hmm, let's see if I can see. Oh, this was mayonnaise. Okay, this was mayonnaise. Well, now I have my lentils. Like I said, I'm a single person, so I don't store big amounts. But this is lentils, and nice and sealed tight, as you can see. And then what I do is I get the uh, little directions, you know, from the plastic bags when you buy the lentils, they have the little directions on there. I just cut out the little directions and stick it in a baggie and put it in there with my lentils so that I always remember, you know, uh, how to make them because sometimes I just forget. I'm like, oh wait, you know, <laughs> I'm human. So anyway, um, nice and tight in here again, they stay nice and fresh. So, and then you can see, you know, that's what I like about the clear ones. You can see exactly what you're going for, so that's cool too. Here's another example. This was a uh, a jelly. It had uh, preserves in it, and a friend had brought over some popcorn, you know, to make for a movie with her kids and what have you. There was a little bit left over. She left it. Well, I don't want it to get all stale because you know how popcorn can get. It gets ooh, real stale. So I've got it nice and tight in this little jelly jar, glass too. So. Uh, that's another example. So guys, uh, there's so many things you can reuse. If you think about right now what you've got in your house, think about what you have in your house right now, in your apartment, wherever you live. Um, think about all the containers you've got and how you can reuse them. Um, I have other containers this size that are glass and you can pour in your leftovers. You know, leftovers from dinner or whatever, you pour them in here, seal it tight and put it in your fridge. And you're not buying all these plastic containers, which um, I like to use glass for leftovers like from dinner and stuff because of the fluids and liquids and what have you. I just feel better. So anyway, you can use all these glass, uh, you know, containers like this to, to store, um, you know, your, after, your um, leftovers after dinner. Um, so there's so many things if you think about your containers that you've got in your house right now. Um, that you can reuse and, and like I say I tend to you know with plastic I don't want to put liquid or liquid things in there when it comes to food I just don't want to so um, think about that that's one way to help save and also to recycle reuse I mean it may not seem like a lot but just right here I mean look at all this stuff all of this stuff would have gone into the garbage, all of this would have gone into the garbage. That's a lot of stuff, people. All this stuff, that's a lot of stuff that would have gone into the landfill. So you reuse it all, and you have some nice, safe containers uh, to put, especially food, you know. Uh, with the way the economy is now and families struggling, you know, you don't want to waste any food. You know, you don't want it to throw it out just because it got stale or it wasn't used for a while. Um, you can store stuff in these things for so long and they're, they stay nice because they stay fresh because it is sealed so nice and tight. Um, and with the economy, everybody's trying to find ways to save money. They're trying to find ways to scale back. Uh, uh, we need to because times are tight. And, um, and when you think about all the things you throw away, 
so many of them are reusable for so many purposes. I mean, amazing how many things that we throw out that I am now realizing can be reused for things that really, it really works out well. So next time guys, you know, uh, next time you finish a candle or, you know, you finish a soda or whatever, um, think about how you can reuse that uh, product. Um, and I know there are a lot of people who are going to say, oh my goodness, you know, I don't want all these plastic bottles. Well, you know what? I could care less because they're going to be hidden. They're not going to be seen except in the event of something neat looking like my little, you know, Paris bottle, my Eiffel Tower or my, I think the candle's cool, you know. Of course, you pick and choose. And for those of you who don't care, well, so what? Then put them out. You know, I mean, it's really, it's kind of cool. You know, your little bottles full of your, your dried uh, grains and what have you. Uh, and also... Uh, think about too, like when you buy, uh, if you buy instant rice, um, and of course regular rice, of course, but like if you buy instant rice, you know, in the boxes and you don't use it all, well, it's open. I mean, unless you tape that edge right there, it's open, which is no good. You can pour that rice into a bottle. You can pour the rest so of that rice, that instant rice into a bottle, stays fresh. So, um, there's just so many things guys think about it uh, don't worry about you know what people think I mean who cares where you buy your stuff and how much you paid for it um, if somebody is dressed nicely and looks beautiful and looks clean and has nice things on who cares that it costs two dollars at a thrift store they have amazing things in thrift stores um, if you take the time to go it's amazing what you'll find I mean for your kitchen you can buy pots and pans and I just bought a, a, a two pan, you know, an angel food cake pan. Looks brand new. I paid a whole dollar fifty for it. Um, I bought, uh, uh, what was it? I can't think right now. It was just the other day. Oh, I bought this at Salvation Army for the holidays for, um, uh, for fall and for Halloween. This cool metal, you know, wrought iron thing, pump, pumpkin rather. It cost a whole three bucks. So, and it's brand new. You, there's not a scratch. There's nothing on it. It looks like it was just taken out of a store. Three bucks for that. So, um, you can find so many things, guys, and so many ways to save money. Um, and you've got to stop worrying about what people think because you're not here to, you can't, you know, you can't please everybody all the time. It's just not going to happen. And if you want to save money, especially if you're a young family and you have, uh, you know, young children and, and you're struggling just to survive and put food on that table, and we all know how that goes. I had five of them. There are just so many ways. Go out there. Go to your thrift stores, your Goodwills, your um, Salvation Army stores, uh, flea markets, garage sales. You can find so many things for pennies, for dollars, for cents. Uh, to, to have in your home and to help you uh, or to decorate with, what have you. Um, I, it's just endless. I, I mean, yesterday I went and I, I went to um, the thrift store. I got a beautiful sweater, red sweater, that still had the tag on it, for $1.99. I got a beautiful purple sweater for the winter. It was $3.99. Gorgeous chaps, you know. Um, I got uh, a, a really great pair of straight-legged black pants for $3.99. They look completely brand new as if I just brought them from the store. I even bought two pairs of shoes that look completely brand new, and they cost $4.99 each. Um, I just, you know, to me, it doesn't matter. I, I could care less. I just want to dress well and look well, you know, look nice. But I don't want to be making everybody out there filthy rich while everything that I have goes out the door. I mean, think about it that way, guys. All the ways that you can save money puts that money into your, your bank, of, bank account. Why do you want to go out and make these corporate people and these designers richer than they already are? My God, they're you know multimillionaires. And everything that you buy, every single thing you go into a store and buy... Well, guess what? You just made them a little bit richer and your bank pop, you know, your, your pocketbook and your bank account a little bit smaller. So think about all the things you have in your house, how to reuse them, how to um, uh, recycle them, you know, by, by reusing them for many, for many different purposes. Um, it's just amazing to me. Now that I, I actually got all these ideas from Pinterest, I started watching Pinterest or, you know, getting on Pinterest. 
And my God, the helpful hints and tips they have is unbelievable what they have. So um, guys, you might check out Pinterest and think about what you already have, no matter how small, even the smallest container can be used for something. Did you know you can make your own lip gloss by getting you know, those little metal containers that, you know, like you buy a uh, different type of lip balms and things in, you can get uh, Vaseline and put in Kool-Aid, literally a little bit of Kool-Aid, um, because Kool-Aid naturally stains your skin. You can put a little bit of Kool-Aid in there, uh, whatever color you like, and mix it in with your Vaseline and you, you know, stir it till you, it's uh, all dissolved. And then you put it in one of those little containers and you have a lip gloss that has a tint of color on it for nothing. How much is Vaseline? You get a big old thing like this for a couple bucks. You know, you're talking tons of, of lip gloss or, or lip conditioner. So you reuse the little containers. Like uh, I buy um, Rosebud Salve and, and uh, I buy, you know, just different types. And uh, save the little container to make some more. And it, it's amazing what you can do if you start applying your mind looking and not just jars and containers. Look at so many things around your house that you're gonna, you know, gonna throw out. Stop before you throw it out. And say, wow, can I use this for something? And you'd be surprised how many things you can reuse, and how uh, it can save you. Like for instance, if you do, say you have a big family and you go to, to a, a, you know, one of those big stores and you, you buy big bulk stuff. Maybe you don't always want to be lifting the big old thing. For instance, detergent. You can buy big old things of detergent. Save the smaller bottle from a previous purchase, pour your detergent in there and reuse it. Or even for that matter, you could do that with one of these. Pour a little bit in here. If you don't want to be lifting a big old heavy container, pour a little detergent in here, pour it out, voila, you've got another, you know, use. So think about all those things, guys. And I'm telling you this because I have had people contacting me asking me, you know, gosh, you know, it's so hard nowadays. How do you save money? How do you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's how. Start thinking about what you've got around you, how you can reuse it, or how you can, for instance, like I said, I make my own olive oil. Guys, this is the greatest idea. The Tuscan one, I put uh, onion, I put onion flakes, I put um, basil, I put oregano, I put, um, oh gosh, I can't even think, I put garlic, I put salt, I put pepper, um, I put a uh, dried tomato, you know, you can buy the dehydrated tomato. I put it in here and it made the most delicious olive oil. So you can do that, you know, make your own, buy the big old thing and then save your little bottles like I did of soy sauce and teriyaki sauce. And well, what's the difference guys? Here's the one I paid $8. Well, it was $8.99 for this bottle of olive oil. Well, what's the difference between these bottles guys? Nothing. I mean, you're paying for name, you're paying for whatever. So make your own and look at what you saved. I mean, Here's another one. It's almost the exact same thing, guys. So there you go. Um, there's lots of ways. So guys, get to it. Get off your duffs. <laughs> and as you use things in your house, whether you're emptying out bottles of lotion, which can be reused for maybe, uh, you know, um, soap dispensers, uh, all these little containers that we throw out and fill our landfill with can be reused. They can be used, reused for many things. My father used to use baby food jars in his garage. He was a mechanic. And he used to use baby food jars and other jars to store little, you know, bolts and little tiny things. He, he had a bunch of baby food jars and what have you stored. He reused all the stuff, you know. So there are so many things you can do uh, to uh, reuse all these products uh, or the containers of these products for purposes around the house, guys. So, and remember, what's so great about them is they seal tight. So it's not like some plastic baggie that, you know, can pop open or tear. And it's not like a paper bag that obviously air goes in and out of and it's gonna get stale or nasty. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's solid, you know, they're solid and they seal tight. So things are gonna stay fresher and last longer. So you wanna make food last too. Let's face it, food's expensive. And uh, from what I hear, everybody, because of this drought, Food's going to be pretty expensive coming next year. Uh, that's why they're telling everybody to stockpile now, what have you. Apparently, food prices are going to be jacked up because of this drought that occurred. So if you buy in bulk, use all these containers. These hold quite a bit, you know. Um, and, of course, there are other containers that are much bigger of things that you buy. Reuse them to store stuff in. Um, 
For instance, like my dogs, I have uh, three dogs, so I buy big old bags of dog food. Well, I don't want them in the bag anymore because the air gets in. So I bought this uh, plastic container. It's kind of just like a you know plastic container with a lid that snaps at the top. It cost me, I think, like three bucks at a dollar store, uh, one of those family type dollar stores. And I've had that for three years. I store their food in there, so it stays as fresh as can be. I just fill it up. It's a big old thing like this. Store the dog food in there, it stays fresh. So guys, think about it. Like I said, get to it. Think about all the containers you use, what you could possibly reuse them for before you just toss them in the garbage. Even if you're a recycler, um, I used to just get these and throw them in the recycle container. Never gave it a second thought till I got on Pinterest, <laughs> which I am now thoroughly addicted to. And I'm finding all these hints out about on um, uh, how to use, um, reuse things. So guys, get to it. Uh, start saving yourself some money. Start uh, keeping your food and your things fresher um, uh, to last longer and uh, you'll feel good about it. And uh, get your family involved, get your kids involved, you know, start teaching them what to do to help save money, help to recycle, to reuse, to keep things fresher, what have you. Um, there's just a million things out there, guys, so get to it, and we will talk to you later. Uh, i got to go put all this away now, so <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye-bye. Have a great day.